It has been a big week for the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. Agents found and destroyed millions of dollars in Oklahoma-grown marijuana. Only on two, 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck was there as the agency conducted operations at Camp Gruber today. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics uses helicopters to spot marijuana grow fields from the air. It's actually a constant battle here in Oklahoma. They've had a busy week and a half. They busted one huge crop near Ada, and they took these plants from a home right here in Green Country. It takes an arsenal of aircraft, weapons, and military-style training to keep up with Oklahoma drug dealers, some of which are backed by dangerous Mexican drug cartels. A group of Mexican nationals are suspects in this bus 12 miles outside of Ada. Thousands of marijuana plants were discovered. Most are the size of Christmas trees. The street value is around $10 million. Investigators say the growers were actually living next to the field. We started the week with the largest marijuana grow we've had probably in our state's history, about 9,000 plants. Uh, it's just tremendous amount of marijuana. And then yesterday or the day before, uh, we, we had about 40 plants. So uh, it, it's been a good week. OBN agents tell us they also found these plants behind the Peggs area home of Maynard Mayo Jr. He was booked into the Cherokee County Jail on Wednesday. It's a battle these agents fight daily. OBN Director Daryl Weaver says this week was a good one for his agency, but he says it takes constant diligence to fight the war on drugs. Camp Gruber allows his agents to sharpen the skills he hopes will keep them alive. We're trying to utilize all the resources we can. Uh, oftentimes, uh, aircraft or technology is often better than uh, putting people out there or, or having to walk into a field. So uh, we do utilize the aircraft as we're using today. Uh, we're repelling behind me. We use repel operations. So uh, we, we try to minimize uh, the risk and some of the dangers that we encounter in this job. As for that historic pot bust over in Seminole County, the Bureau of Narcotics tells me all the marijuana has been removed from the field and destroyed. The search is also on for four to five Hispanic suspects who fled the scene. Reporting from Camp Gruber, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.